Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm your host, David Streggy, and here I have another review for you. As I was a child of the 90s, I, I grew up on a lot of films from the 80s and 90s, and one of the films that uh, became one of my favorite uh, drama slash action fil uh, films, in a sense it was kind of an action film, uh, was a film from 1998 directed by... Um, Eric Steven Stahl, uh, and uh, this was a film that was showed on Showtime, uh, which was part uh, part of HBO Networks, uh, uh, Showtime Entertainment, uh, uh, working with uh, Film Quest uh, Pictures, and it starred uh, Patrick Stewart, who for some of my lifetime was Captain Picard on uh, uh, the Star Trek um enterprise on the star trek um the second series in the star trek universe and uh in this film which is called safe house from 1998 which was filmed around then uh he plays a man called mace Sowell. um it's kind of a psychological thriller um, where he was an ex-intelligence operative with the DIAA, or so he says throughout the uh, film, um, which um, he goes through a series of exercises every day. And at the end of the day, before he goes to bed, he has to stick this password inside um, uh, this really cool looking com uh, computer in a in a totally um paranoid looking safe room um where um he ha he has to do this difficult password so that all the information that he knows doesn't make uh, doesn't get sent out it's his fail safe uh, uh for if anyone tries to um get at him and he always thinks that um uh, 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 that um, his old boss at the DIA um, uh, who was uh, who was Admiral Thomas Michael Moore uh, uh, um, is after him and so, uh, so he uh, and because this man who was play, uh, uh, who plays Admiral Thomas Michael Moore which all we see of him is what he, we see on the news and what uh, what happens is that uh, that um, uh, who is played by Richard Livingston uh, is uh, that he is running for president and Mace uh, uh, keeps track of who was in uh, who was part of the operation that he was part of and it seems that each and every person that was part of the operation that he was a part of ends up get, uh, getting killed and he ends up kind of being the last person the only thing is is that um he is starting to get early signs of alzheimer's and his daughter um michelle so ross is um worried and concerned and keeps taking him to uh, to the do uh, uh, doctor which dr simon his doctor is played by H hector elizondo and he plays a very cool uh part in here i've, I've always enjoyed hector elizondo's characters um where um he gives him a different dosage and um now Mich michelle his daughter doesn't really believe that her father was any kind of a, C a, a DIA operative. And uh, so when she uh, she starts to go through, uh, through a series of uh, um, people that uh, uh, she thinks that would probably be able to take care of her father be uh, best, and uh, he scares them off uh, by doing the, uh, these uh, <laughs> uh, routine uh, uh, marksmanship type things with his next door neighbor, Stuart Bittenbinder, who often does uh, very cool impressions of Robert De Niro and Humphrey Bogart, uh, w which kind of makes it kind of a comical th uh, thing. So, uh, uh, so 
Um, another character uh, that I want to say, uh, say shows up uh, shows up in uh, here is Kimberly Williams Paisley, who um, plays Am Andy Travers, and uh, she comes off as a young uh, a woman who. Um, um, cooks macrobiotic food, um, which is a, a, a much healthier, supposedly. And uh, she portrays this caring uh, young woman who just wants to uh, see that uh, Mace gets the best, you know, uh, best of health. And you see that he starts to open up to uh, Andy and uh, starts to let down his guard. Um, now, I really feel for the character of Mace be uh, because there uh, he's got guns all over the house. He's been paranoid for uh, for years. He does all of these th uh, things to uh, to uh, to go through all of these routines to protect himself. And when he's got all his guard down and he starts to lose his m mind, is uh, is when the person who gets closest to him the uh, most is the one th uh, uh, that. Um, uh, backstabs him him in the back and uh, by the time all this happens uh his daughter really believe uh, believes that andy travers is uh is for real um he's become somewhat friends with andy and uh in the end i, th I think he kind of loses his uh, his mind and um it's sad to see a man uh, lose his mind uh, so much and so uh, so fast but i love how uh, you know the uh, the uh, the uh um how uh even though he, he was uh, he was eventually you know attacked in the end i i love how um he had a that fail safe to fall back uh, upon and the fucking house with the security system was awesome for its time i mean the things that he had to uh, had to do and the th and how many guns he uh, were actually in the house was amazing so um i thought that um i thought that this film was uh, one of the better f uh, films uh that i had seen uh, with Patrick Stewart involved in it and uh, um, seeing the breakdown of how fast a person with Alzheimer's can go through. <coughs> and uh, some of the loyalties uh, that his, fr uh, uh, his friends kind of went, uh, went, uh, went through, uh, you know, it, it was just kind of heartbreaking and uh, comical at the same uh, uh, time. And uh, I enjoyed it. So, Hopefully you enjoyed my description of this film. I I definitely enjoyed this uh, film. Here's uh, what the fi uh, film somewhat uh, look, uh, looks like. It was definitely um, a different role to see Patrick Stewart in, and uh, it was one of my favorite roles with him in it. So um, also seeing Kimberly w uh, when she it was just a little bit beyond uh, do uh, Dune and working on uh, the Tenth Kingdom um, miniseries. Uh, that was uh, that was about when I was uh, still um, watching some of those. So in any case, hopefully you enjoyed my description of this film. Like and subscribe to my page if you have not. Uh, definitely check out some of my other reviews. I definitely have some cool reviews coming uh, uh, for a uh, fourth from every. A uh, thing that I own, and uh, thanks for the traffic, and appreciate it ahead of time. Uh, have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are.